Today in this video, I'm going to be doing something slightly different. I'm going to be unboxing this new microwave. And if you don't know what a microwave is, then I'm sorry. But I'm going to be unboxing this microwave for you. And it looks like it, it's a microwave in a box. So I don't know if it's assembled or not. I assume it is. So this is a sharp carousel, this microwave. It's a 1100 watts and 1.6 cubic feet. This is the stainless steel model and yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna start by opening the top here by making a small incision, sliding the blade across the top at a nice speed, okay? I can get my hand in it. One side just popped. There we go. Sweet. Now let's slice the other end. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's uh, staples in it, apparently. So I'm just gonna take this staple out so I don't cut myself. And I don't see another staple, so we're just going to fold the two first flaps back, fold the second two flaps out, and on the top we have this styrofoam piece, which holds or houses the glass plate and the little piece that the glass plate rolls on. I'm going to measure the glass plate so you know what the dimension is of that. The glass plate from end to end comes out to 13 and a half inches. So from end to end, 13 and a half inches. I'm just going to set that back in there like so. And the little carousel that it spins on, that measures from end to end. eight and three quarter inches. So let's set those in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the styrofoam piece and see the microwave. Oh man, I love the sound of styrofoam, like right when it sounds like that. There's a little imprint right here from the microwave carousel piece and it looks like they nicely and neatly wrapped it in plastic. Listen to the crinkle. For you, uh, AA, what is it, AMSR or whatever it is that you hear on where the people are making the crinkling sounds against things. I'm going to pull the microwave out and we're going to take a look at it. Inside the box, we just have two more pieces of styrofoam that hold it in place. So this is the back side of the microwave. And here's the front. I'm pulling off the plastic. The top of the microwave, it comes with some instructions to tell you what to operate and how to operate it, or what to put in it. A schematic on how to set up the glass plate and carousel. And it gives you also this quick start guide to show you exactly what it is that you're going to be doing. All right, so I'm going to measure length, height, and then from corner to corner. For the length, we're measuring just over, we're about 22 
21, we're about 21 and 3 quarters for the length of the microwave. For the height, we're looking at exactly one foot in height. And then from the diagonal, we're looking at two and a half feet. So, that's how big the front is, but how about the, the depth going in? Well, I'm going to measure that too. For the depth going in, we're looking at 16 inches. For the length of the back, we're looking at 21 and 3 quarters. Those are the dimensions of the microwave. We have a nice button layout on the front with different settings. And we push the button to open it. We get this nice clean inside. I'm going to take the carousel and set it inside the microwave. Just set it in there. And I'm going to take the glass plate and set it right on top, like so. Now that the microwave is assembled, we can close it and we're ready to cook something. To power this microwave on, you're going to have to plug it in. And it uses a standard home outlet. On the back here, held in by a cable tie. We've got a standard home outlet that I'm going to plug in. I have an extension cord with a home outlet plug. I think it's 120 volts. I'm not certain of that, so mind you, I am not certain of that. And we are a go. On the front, this is the clock. Typically, you can set the clock to the standard time so you can see what time it is when you wake up in the morning. We open the inside, and there's an LED. So let's set it for maybe, say, 15 seconds. We're going to hit the one. Oh, one is one minute. Okay, let's see. Two. Stop. So, under the assumption, express cook implies that it's going to cook for that set amount of minutes. Let's see if we can do our own time. We're going to do time cook. Okay, we're going to do 15 seconds, so one, five, okay, and then we're going to hit start, and it cooks for 15 seconds, and if I want to add 30 seconds on top of this, I can hit start again, and it adds another 30 seconds. It has a auto defrost, a defrost time, a clock different settings for frozen vegetables, different meat settings, and different types of foods. It also has a memory function so you can see or reuse different if you're cooking more than one. So, if you want to buy this particular Sharp Carousel microwave oven, and the model is a Sharp Carousel, then this is what you'll be expecting when you get it. This has been an unboxing, and thank you for watching.